Oh my knees, oh my knees. I can't believe, this has been, uh, honey, it's been a lot of topics and I'm just surprised of what's going on. What's going on in 2020? What in the world is happening here, honey? What in the world is happening? I just got this case and I'm surprised because I seen, I seen this myself, honey. Honey, oh Nick Cannon, my baby, he's cute. He's like my husband number 19. And I can't believe it. Can y'all believe what they did to my husband number 19? Nick, he's too adorable. Why would you do that to him? And I see the outcry. And I understand. And everything. But we're going to look at the whole case. But, but it's, it's really interesting. Come on here. Let's, let's talk about this. Because this is really interesting. Okay. Let me go ahead and pull up the case here. Let's pull up the case. Hi, I'm Aaron Fantasy, author of Dream Big. I love to take trending topics and make it relate for all of us, for other people's experience can teach us the lesson. All right, honey. So Nick Cannon was fired by Viacom. Viacom. Number one, he was fired by Viacom. And that surprised me over his statements. They were talking about his statements and everything. And then immediately, he was fired. What? Oh. He was fired. He just, you know what I mean? And I, I'm just like this. You know what I mean? I'm just like this. Why do you really fire him? Because I, myself, seen the video and it's kind of funny. I downloaded the video. Okay, I downloaded it. Honey, the camera went off, but I'm not gonna let that stop me. How you doing? So I'm just surprised. And yeah, he was immediately fired by Viacom. And I was like, who the heck is Viacom? Who the heck is Viacom? Come to find out Viacom owns a lot of the news and a lot of the, the, the shows, a lot, they own Wild and Out. And that's why I said this is an interesting case, honey. They own Wild and Out, sweetie. Okay, honey, I'll give you the tea, honey. They own Wild and Out. You know, this is a little dirty, okay? <laughs> they own Wild and Out. And, you know, it's just it's so many bad, it's so many bad things that happened to my baby here. Oh my God, I know so many things can happen so badly. Um, so he created, so Nick Cannon created, this is the case, Nick Cannon created Wild and Out, but Viacom owns it. Nick Cannon created it, but Viacom owns it. And they find, and they come to find out that he is, that came out too, that he was fired from Wild and out as well. I seen the story. He was fired from Wild and out, but you know, after all these, he fired the, there. They discontinued that, and then Wild and out, which you actually created, they're gonna say, "Oh, well, uh, he gets to keep his job at the Mad Singer." I've seen that too. I'd be so mad. I'm like, "Well, screw that. You, what you look, what you done did," and then it would make me feel some type of way. He, he, he. he first, his statement was they're racist. And then, now I'm seeing stories that Nick Cannon apologizes for anti-Semitic comments. Now, before my video cut off, I, I seen those. First, he did clarification of anti-Semitic comments. And then also, um, go back, I was gonna talk about the Jewish community. It seems like they gotten upset. Let's be real, they got upset with Nick Cannon's comments and honey, They've shown who they are and revealed who they are with the actions. You didn't know that they own all of this. And apparently they do because they got mad and fired his ass. Apparently they do own the networks. You see, that's why I was going before the camera went out. Okay, they own the networks and they got mad. The Jewish community is the owners and they got mad at Nick Cannon and fired his ass. You know what I mean? And that's why he was upset first, but now he done backpedaled because I'm confused looking at the case. He apologizes for his anti-Semitic comments. He, he apologizes. But we was all for you. I guess he wants to keep his coins. He keeps his check. So I understand that in the case. 
you know, I'm, I mean, what do y'all think? Honey, let's get down in the comment section below. Y'all the judge, jury, and the prosecutor. I'm just laying out the case and some of my opinion. But um, y'all y'all, y'all get down there and let me know because y'all are the judge. And like I said, I have the video because I had a feeling that they was going to take it down. And honey, shoot, I been on it. I been on it. You know, that's like the fourth time I said something or I felt something and it was correct. <laughs> I think that video may be worth something. <laughs> gonna be worth something oh the camera is still going okay I was gonna do some other stories but I don't we gonna see we gonna see okay so yes God so yeah they took down the video they fired him but he is backpedaling it seems I'm gonna be going down the case he's backpedaling because he's apologizing but I, I, I was for him me myself as judge Aaron fantasy I was for him, um, you know, with not, you know, with comments and replying to people's comments. Everybody was for you, Nick Cannon, and agreed with you that, you know, that they did wrong. I'm not going to go racist, but I would say that was wrong because it's unfair because you spoke your truth. You spoke your truth. That's my thing in the Aaron Fantasy channel that I want to say. You can speak your truth and not feel like you have to. And it's up on a podcast. It's on a podcast. So you, you think that's an open dialect that two grown men, you can have your disagreement, but don't take an action off of words. You see, <laughs> you know, I believe don't take no action off words. That is wrong. I think that is wrong to take action off someone's opinion, um, of someone's truth. That's their truth that may not be your truth, but I'm not gonna be moved to fire somebody because they stayed in their truth. Unless it's going to affect their job or it's gonna affect me physically in my life. You know what I mean? I would not be moved by anybody's words. You see what I'm saying? To fire somebody. I think that's wrong. You should, you know, I, I like what Charlamagne the guy asked. You, you, you can state your truth, but you can also you have, you know, be prepared for the consequences of someone's reaction. They can have in a reaction too. I understand that. What I like to do is take trending topics, make it relate to you, own your own shit. You can do whatever you, Damon, da I'm Damon, da yes I am, Damon Dash it is. This is the tip. Uh, and listen to me, come here, come here, come here. I'm going to turn off the music here. Own your own shit. Own your own stuff. Own your own stuff. Own your own stuff. Okay? He should have bought Wild Now, but he, he was, you know, listen to those. I'm not going to go there. He was riding the wave. He was, he was, you know, and he felt so big, you know, big enough, powerful enough that he's like, I can say what I want. And that's not the case because you don't own it. The owners, if they don't like it, they get in their feelings. They can fire you and stuff. You need to get to a position where you can't be fired from what you do. It's yours. You the owner. Okay. Damon, da oh, yes, I am Damon Dash and this. You need to be the owner of your own stuff. Owner. You know, he need to be the owner of Wild Now. He need to be the, I mean, it's easy to be an owner on your own podcast. And I hope he, he, he learned a lesson. I'm going to own my own things. Okay. He just spoke to Damon Dash. And Damon Dash told him that way ahead of time last year. Case. Own your own stuff. Own your own stuff and you don't have to deal with getting fired. You don't have to deal with somebody getting their feelings and um, taking some stupid action. I dealt with that recently, let's be real. I, I'm like, what, I'm just like, what in the world? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? <laughs> you know what I mean? I was like, why would you be moved? And, 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 uh, the, and I'm like, why are you so mad? And the entity replied to me, I ain't mad. <laughs> But, but you did that action, so apparently you mad. <laughs> so, that's wrong. 
That is wrong. It is absolutely wrong. State your, this is good, this is good. State your position. Say, you know, you know, Viacom should have just made the statement. We, we are not in agreement with this. And kept it there. They didn't have to fire Nick Cannon. Honey, I'm so mad. Honey, we your camera, when you filming, and the camera gets to one ball, change out that battery. Change out the battery. And I don't got where I was going. Okay, I forgot what to do. Ooh, they didn't be trying me, honey. I rebuke you in my name. Okay, but I hope you received it. The main thing is on your stuff, when you the owner, you the boss, the main boss. You see, you're not gonna never get fired. You, you know, get to a point where you, you can't get fired. You know, make it to where you, especially when you created something. That that gives me the scritchy eye at the most. He didn't own Wild and Out. You didn't own it. And, you know, you you spoke to Dame Dash. The Dame Dash, he gave it to you way ahead of time. Sometimes God gives you pebbles on your head before the brick. And Dame Dash told him last year, you know, you, you got these men that's on your stuff. And that's, I got the lesson. I got the lesson. And it's just been a whole train wreck. My poor baby, I'm praying for him. I am. But even though he got millions of dollars and everything, you pray for me. Y'all pray for me. Okay, honey. Okay. He, he gonna be all right. This, this a, It's a whole train wreck of stuff for my baby here. Wow. And all he did was, I listened to it. He didn't say much. He just said his opinion. But I believe he said it against the Jewish people. And apparently the Jewish people own all that that he got. And they got mad. And that's what happened. You see what I'm saying? You, you speak your truth, but you're speaking against the power in his physical shoes. And that's what happened. And he should have taken what Damon Dash said to him last year. Okay? By owning Wild and Out. Owning his shit. Owning your thing. And you won't get fired. Okay? But I do podcasts. They got all kinds of good free podcasts. Well, Nick Cannon and everything. Don't. You know, just, just go the direction of owning your own stuff. And you will not have these issues or these challenges. And, you know... I do one thing so I do everything and someone like my intro, someone else's experience can teach you the lesson. I'm gonna, me, myself, I'm gonna own my own things. So, um, this case here is own your own stuff, okay? Own your own stuff. That's that's what I order you to do, Nick Cannon. Order, own your own stuff. Own your own stuff. You got all this money, okay? You got all this money, own it. I hope you guys received it. Get down in the comment section below. Let me know what y'all think about this case. It's all, you know, y'all the judge, jury, the prosecutor. You know, tell me what y'all think down there. I'm very interested. Peace. Next case.